More than 100 films will be featured during this week's Indie Film Fest, and one of them is a documentary rooted right here in Lafayette. Peanut Gallery, Peanut Gallery rather, sees West Lafayette native Molly Gandor return to her childhood home to address her sister's death from cancer 22 years ago, and she joins us now. Welcome, Molly Gandor. Very nice to have you this morning. Thanks a lot. So give us a little bit of background about this film, what it's about, and why you decided to make it. Uh, the film is about my sister died from leukemia when I was 10 years old in 1994. Uh, she was 14 and um, I felt that my parents and I hadn't really spoken about her death. Um, and I went home and lived at my parents' house in West Lafayette mm -hmm. in 2010 and we kind of spoke about the death for the first time and the film is really a story of us coming together around um, our grief process. And you're pursuing an MFA right now. You're a professional documentary filmmaker and documentarian. So tell us, was it hard coming and looking at a subject so personal, uh, especially so long ago? It was very difficult. Um, it, the reason why I wanted to make the film was because this stuff is so difficult to speak about. Um, and for me, having the project helped us um, kind of break the ice. Um, and did, it, did it work? Did it break the ice? It did. Yeah. It did, and it, it took a while, um, but it did. Yeah, and that was the whole goal. And do you think it might help other families, too, who may have struggled with a similar tragedy to maybe help them understand what the process is like going forward? I really hope so. I hope that the film can start conversations that are hard to start about um, grief and illness and that people can watch it and see that there is a benefit to talking even though it can seem really daunting. And you, uh, you mentioned that you did want to break the ice, but was it tough to actually start the work? The idea is one thing, to have this idea to actually improve your family relationship and talk about something that's so difficult, but the work to actually begin, we were talking just a minute ago, you said it took, it took you two years to really go through the footage of, of, of all of this, th this filmmaking. Yeah, I couldn't look at the footage for two years. I shot uh, most of the footage in the film I shot in 2010, and mm -hmm. I couldn't start editing yeah. for another two years. Um, it's dif it was difficult to see myself on film, yeah. <laughs> first of all, right. um, and just difficult to face everything that we'd spoken about. And so the film made its debut just this last weekend. It will be a premiering at the Indie Film Fest this weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, other than this weekend, will people be able to get a chance to see it? And I guess when will it be shown this weekend so people can come down to Indy if they want to take a look? This weekend is Saturday uh, the 25th at 2.15 p.m. Okay. at the Indianapolis Museum of Art. Um, and tickets are online. Um, and beyond that, it will be online eventually and mm -hmm. there'll be a DVD. Um, and feel free to go to the website. Um, if you want to host a screening or anything like that. And Peanut Gallery, what inspired that title? Um, the title is a reference to people who sit in the back of the audience, mm -hmm. um, which is sort of how I felt my role was in my life, that right. I was sort of a distant observer to this tragedy, and right. the filmmaking process was a process of getting closer to my family and getting closer to my life and really trying to understand it um, in a more real way. All right, Molly Gandor, best of luck on this project. Thank you so much for coming in this morning, and uh, I hope everybody likes it down at the Indie Film Fest. Thank you for coming in. Thanks a lot.